This is the front door to our house. It's never had a screen door on it. Usually when we want fresh air in the house, we just leave the door open. But this year, there seems to be more mosquitoes than usual. So we're gonna hang a screen door on here in hopes of keeping at least some of them out of the house. So this is the door we picked out. We got it from Home Depot. It's a vinyl door. It was very inexpensive. And the hinges work on either side, depending on how your door opens. It's got this little channel that you can put on either side. The hinges of your screen door should be on the same side that they are on your entry door. In my case, they're on the left side, so I wanna make sure that I remember that this is the top. I'm gonna to get started by cutting that. Measure one inch down from the top, draw a line, and cut it off with a hacksaw. There's a little bit of math involved. First, you need to measure the opening of your door frame. In my case, it's exactly 80 inches. Then the instructions have me take that measurement and subtract two and three sixteenths of an inch. Yes, this would be a lot easier if it were metric. I'll measure that distance from the top of the frame and draw a line. Now I can screw this in place, three sixteenths of an inch down from the top. I'll pre-drill holes for the screws. One of the things I've discovered about this door is that it's sold as a 36 inch wide door, but it's not. It's a little over 34 inches, so you need to pull it out from this channel to make up that extra space. I guess that's to accommodate smaller size door openings, but it's gonna make this a little bit more challenging. I can slide the door into that channel. and it should be flush with the top. I managed to square up this door somewhat by shipping it from underneath and on the sides and unfortunately I'm gonna to have to drill new holes in this side piece. I had to move the door so far over this way that I can't use the holes that they supplied. To make up the gap on the bottom, it's got this channel. The one thing about this door is it was missing a lot of hardware. I had to try to find screws that would fit. And this door was missing screws for the handle too. This video helps you out in some way if you're going to install a screen door and if you get any of those at Home Depot they're probably all similar to this one and I gotta say it was really frustrating that not all of the hardware was in the package if you found this video a little bit helpful please take a moment to subscribe to home and garden for mere mortals we have new videos on this channel every week to help you out with all kinds of projects around your home thanks for watching